now. Yeah. Obviously, it's the 60th anniversary of the show this year, and like I said, people would love to see you both come back at some point, but Christopher, for you, your experience... <laughs> Only you... one person. No, come on, everyone. And that was my mother. <laughs> Guys, wouldn't you love to see... Who's over there with the beard. <laughs> Mom, you need to shave. <laughs> You'd all love to see Christopher come back as the doctor, right? See? Now, what would have to happen for that to become a reality? Sack Russell T. Davis, sack Jane Tranter, sack Phil Collinson, sack Julie Gardner, and I'll come back. So can you arrange that? Did, did you find it hard to be like, associated with the character given? Not at all. I love being associated with the character. Okay. Just don't like being associated with those people and the politics that went on in the first series. The first series was a mess, and it wasn't to do with me or Billy. It was to do with the people who were supposed to make it, and it was a mess. And the first series of any show, Billy did Confessions of a... Cool girl. You know, first series, nobody wants to know. The BBC were like, we're gonna keep a big distance from this. And then as soon as it was a success, they were all up close going, I was responsible for that. But they were all like, at a distance, like this is a folly, Eccleston's folly, Piper's folly, Russell T. D. Davis's folly. And then when it worked, suddenly, oh yeah, I worked on that. They could, wouldn't come anywhere near us. And then they jump on the bandwagon. Those kind of politics, I'm not very good at handling. I can't swallow that shit. Billy, would you ever return to the show if... Well, I've returned a bunch of times. Yeah. Have 